Hey everyone, today we're going to be making more terrible TF2 maps. Some people are outside, working, doing charity, feeding the homeless. But for me, I'm making shitty maps that will be played once and then forgotten. Forever. To get started, we're going to need to brainstorm. A lot of the ideas I had have already been done, such as CTF Dust Bowl, King of the Hill 2 Fort, and some others. So I decided to go with something a little bit more ambitious. CTF 4 Fort. I made a sketch to get a general idea of what I wanted to make and got straight to work. The idea was that I would take 2 Fort, double it, and rotate it by 90 degrees, giving us 4 Forts instead of 2. The first issue I found was that TF2 maps are in a BSP format. This is a compiled version of the map that's meant to be played with the TF2 client. Compiled maps cannot be edited on Hammer and therefore Four, even if uncompiled will not fully work. Thankfully, we have a solution. 2 Fort and a bunch of other maps were released in this uncompiled state via this SDK update that they launched a while ago. First thing we have to try and do is open up those fences and extend the land so that players will be able to walk through it when adding more forts. We then have to plug up the sewer to save both time and to make extending everything else much easier. I then had to delete some skyboxes to allow for more room when making 4 Fort. Then I had to begin the process of copying and pasting the two forts. Uh. After that, I had to align the two new forts with the others and extend the land so they both could meet. I then also worked on making sure the skyboxes filled everything up so that nothing leaked. After that, it was just time to compile the map and test it. Ah, uh, okay, it didn't work. Cool. Nothing about the map. FBI, the open up! Oh, shit. oh, oh my god, where am I? Good morning. You've committed several crimes against the TF2 mapping community. How do you plead? Crimes? What? What crimes? What? I'm just making a map. What's wrong with that? Two Fort was the line. It was the line from the bad maps to the terrible maps. And you, you're, you're just thinking of taking it and crossing the line far beyond where it's meant to be. So, what are you gonna do? Map me to death? W what? Th that doesn't make any sense here. Anyways, I'm going to. What are you doing, dude? I just got a follower. Are you, are you for real right now? Yeah, yeah, dude, check it out, man. I got into this amino thing. It's, it's really cool. You know that I try my best to make a wide variety of content that I'm happy with and hopefully content that you can enjoy as well. Right, okay. But a lot of these videos that I want to make don't end up on my YouTube channel and are often scrapped. Mm -hmm, okay. And just when I thought I had nowhere to put all that content, Amino popped up and have introduced a really cool feature, Amino Stories. I've been browsing the TF2 section for a pretty long time now and it's really good. It gives me that dose of TF2 content I need every once in a while when I don't have the time to invest myself in a really long video. It's a great format, and I think some really cool stuff can be done with this. Oh wow, that's that's awesome. I took a shot at making my own story, Dumb Reloads in TF2 VR. I reached out to Jedi Toby1 and he was more than happy for me to make my own short version over on Amino. So if you'd like to see that, you can click the link in the description below. Wow, I'm oh my god, wow, I'm so happy for you. Thanks man, I mean every view counts and it really supports my channel. Um, speaking of help, can you let me go? <laughs> yeah, no. Ah, oh, come on. I could only think of two reasons as to why the map wouldn't want to compile. One, the map leaked due to my inability to close everything up, and therefore, the map kind of leaked into the void. Number two, the map was too THICK, and Hammer couldn't handle it. After consulting the TF2 Maps Discord, I was told that the main issue was the brush limit. The brush limit in Hammer is a set limit that prevents dumbass mappers like me from going overboard with the map, and I can't blame them. Oh god. So I decided that CTF 4 Fort would be scrapped for another day. Instead, I decided to listen to my community. I went to the place that inhabits the most intelligent, smart, kind, loving, innovative, caring people on earth. My Discord server. <laughs> Big ass drop at the start of the map that leads to tiny water holes, but you gotta land in or else you die. Make everything choke point, a hallway that leads to death trap via trap door, all underwater, small rooms connected together so that you can only use close ranged weapons. There were a lot more suggestions and I want to thank everyone who pitched in their ideas. So now let's actually get started with some designing. I'm going to be making a long pit from spawn to get to where the action is. All of it is going to be underwater and they're going to have to swim their way to the middle. After that, they'll be met with doors upon doors to get to the near final destination, the maze. The maze will force both teams to have to navigate their way through and fight in close quarters combat if they ever meet each other. And oh, one more thing. I've also added a small narrow tube for snipers on opposite teams to try and shoot each other while in spawn. Uh, okay, there we go. So that's the hole that's meant to be there and it should be able to just fit them. Cool, so now it has a floor and a little body of water. So they swim and they have to go down here. Okay, and then uh, swim, 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 swim. And then bam, swim long crouchy hallway, which I hope they can fit through. Can they fit through this is the question. They cannot. Okay, I'm glad I figured that out. Okay, cool. So that should fit them all the way. Okay, so the death room doesn't- Okay, so I do need to- <laughs> Oh man, I need to close it or then that's gonna happen for a while. Okay, yeah, it looks much better than before. 
Okay, so let's see. Oh my god, that looks crazy. Okay, now I've begun the process of making some of them meet with each other. Just to make it even more confusing. Just says send nudes. Perfect. Okay, so we go down here. So there's a few places where I need to patch up. God, this is so hard to look at. And so now everything looks a little bit better to look at. This has also been fixed. So now you have to slowly walk through. And when you go down, it's just a long way. I'm, I don't think I'm going to do anything with this. Um, the maze is kind of complete. Uh, I've, I've color coded it. So floors and ceilings are orange and the walls are gray. These are all doors as well. These are all glass doors. And it creates this really cool effect. I'm not sure why it does that. Um, I think I need to patch it up after, so I'll put a ceiling on it as well. Now, there's a little hole that should go through to the entire enemy spawn. Don't know if you can shoot from it, but hey. No! Does it actually? Does it? <gasps> it actually... Oh my god, that is incredible. That is so powerful. Okay, wait, so let's check out the sawmill. Oh! If they touch a wall, they die. Oh my... Why didn't I think of that? Alfie, you're so smart. So... What the hell? Oh, so the walls don't exist anymore. Oh my god. One rock. Wait, there's a wall here, isn't there? Ah! No, there is! Okay, so apparently that's how you do it. Funk brush. Oh man, this is some high risk shit. So if I touch it. Ah! Yes, boys! Alright, come on, Goomer. Come on, Goomer. Oh, is that a dead end? You'll never know. Oh, he touched me! As you can see, they're making good use of this sniper hole that I made. There's also no resupply cabinet, so they're very much Sentries alive. hit through walls? Wait, what? They do? <laughs> oh no, everyone's dying. What's going on? Wait, do the sentries really shoot through fucking walls? Yo, that's such a huge issue. What the hell? Oh my god, that's such a big flaw. Why does that happen? They can't shoot through walls! I found that the easiest way to solve this issue was to just put solid blocks in between the maze so that sentries can shoot through them and people also can shoot through them. And it didn't require any modification of the map whatsoever and it was just really easy. So that's why I did for like 30 minutes. Peace. Bro, move, move. Actually move. Oh my god, Nubling, stop. Nubling! Oh my god. Yo, dude, someone's actually doing it. This is intense. I've never seen this happen before. He's doing it. Oh my god. Wait, I don't know if he can survive. He's a pyro. Pyro, no! <laughs> oh, Greninja. Oh, I'm trying not to touch the walls. No! Oh, shoot! Yo, I'm screwed, bro. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Don't touch the wall. Don't touch it. That's the number one rule. Oh, God. <laughs> my TF2 crashed. Yeah, I found it. I found the way. Okay, cool. No! Oh, will they, they touch the health kit? You can't touch the health kit. Wait, am I going the right way? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Bro, no, don't shoot, don't shoot. No, 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 the fact that you, no, I have no way to go. We got him, let's go. Don't, don't, let's go. Don't touch me, don't tase me, bro. <laughs> no, get away from me. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until you get to that corner. <laughs> I mean, one right there. Wait, they spawn in the same place? Wait. Wait, what the fuck is this? This is a clear issue that I didn't think about. Why is it like this? Oh my god, I don't even know where the- I don't- Okay, this is an issue. I don't know where the- No! Oh, he got me. Crap. Oh my god, it crashed again. Hold on, wait. Okay, let's- I hope- I hope I don't crash. Okay, now nah, I'm done. The map is over. The map is over. We're done. The map- I tried- I tried the map. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. We're done. I set out to make the worst map I could, and I did. I made the worst map. I accomplished my mission. It's complete. The end. That's it. We're done. We're done with the map. I'm done.